thank you for watching welcome back to my channel this is living to learn thanks so much for taking the time out to check this out today I want to ask you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet already leave me a comment uh, get, hit the thumbs up share this video with anyone you think might benefit from it if it is beneficial right if you find it valuable now before I get started I want to mention a couple of things that you'll find in, in the description of this video as long as uh, as well as the other videos that I've recorded now if you hit that little the button under the title that says more it'll open up the full description you'll notice two things one is my TikTok and Instagram handle at live to learn coaching follow me on those platforms that's also where you can communicate with me if you want to reach out to me for whatever reason if you have a question you want me to cover a certain topic anything like that Instagram is the best way to do it I'm also on TikTok secondly you'll find three opportunities to donate financially to this channel what that does is it enables me to continue to make this content it can it enables me to continue to be consistent and take the time and effort that it requires to do this now I love doing this it's a passion of mine so you don't have to donate but it does help and for those of you that have donated financially in the past a big thank you that means a lot and I really appreciate it now what are we talking about today today and not just today but this week and possibly carrying over into the next week right we did that last week with dealing with differences of opinion I stretched it out just because I thought there was so much to to unfold there was so much to dive into when it comes to to that and this week we're talking about something a little bit different we're talking about something that I think most of us have either experienced or unfortunately you might possibly be experiencing this now and what I'm talking about is loneliness now I want to give you a, de a definition of loneliness that I found on psychology today the state of distress or discomfort that results when one perceives a gap between one's desires for social connection and actual experiences of it let me say that again loneliness is the state of distress or discomfort that results when one perceives a gap between one's desires for social connection and actual experience of it so right there in that I'm sorry right then and there we can see a clear distinction between loneliness and solitude there are plenty of people out there who enjoy being alone you've seen these documentaries of people that live way out in the wilderness and they're happy that's that's what they prefer so being by yourself doesn't necessarily translate into loneliness but it is when one perceives a a disconnect and that's what I want to talk about this week now loneliness can have a major effect on our mental health as well as our physical health when you are lonely when you feel lonely when you are when you perceive there's a disconnect it can really affect you and as someone who has experienced seasons of loneliness in my life I know how bad this can affect someone's mental health and mental well-being I remember in my early 20s I dealt with these bouts of I guess depression you would call it I was never diagnosed and and I say that lightly because I know that there are people who are dealing with medical conditions of depression so I don't want to step on any toes and I definitely don't want to put myself out there in their shoes when it's been confirmed that this is what they're dealing with but I just remember I had these days where I would just I would zone out and I felt alone and I felt weak and I just felt honestly I felt useless and I don't know where this came from to be honest but I would spend days in a row just doing nothing and so it was affecting my mental health it was affecting my physical health because you know at that time especially back in my early 20s I was always playing basketball I was always doing something and these days I just had no drive I had no desire to do anything and so I understand personally the effects of loneliness and if you have something you want to share put it in the comments you don't have to disclose too much information this is not a place where we have to just put out air out our quote-unquote dirty laundry or things that we don't feel comfortable talking about 
but I wanted to take the first step so that you know you're dealing with someone who has gone through it. And I'm not going to lie, sometimes those things creep on me. They creep up. I, I, I start to, to get that, that sensation again. And so it's very real. I understand. And loneliness is something that can really affect us. And here's the thing. It doesn't matter how old you are. It doesn't matter how far along in life you are, how early in life you are. Everyone is susceptible to feelings of loneliness. Now, as we go on throughout the week, I'm going to talk more about not only addressing this loneliness, recognizing it, but we're also, I'm also going to give you some tools. I'm also going to give you some advice on how to deal with it. Because I'm not just here to give you information and tell you what I've went through and, oh, you know, th this, is, this is a problem and that's it. I want to try to offer some solutions as well. Because I think this is something, especially in today's day and age, we really need to understand and pay attention to. And if you have been fortunate enough to not have dealt with loneliness yet in your life, I salute you for that. But I also want to warn you, you want to be prepared if you ever find yourself in a season of loneliness, how to combat that, how to come against that, how to react to that, how to be proactive. I'm sorry, how to be proactive. We don't want to react to anything. We want to be proactive. What can I do in this state of loneliness? What can I do with where I'm at, how I feel? How can I use this to benefit me? At the end of the day, that's what we want to do. We want to take whatever we're going through and we want to utilize it to further us, to advance us. Because that's all we have. That's the only option. Otherwise, we can sit there and we can wallow in our loneliness and we can allow it to eat us alive. And it will. And this is a very serious condition that a lot of people find themselves in. Which is kind of crazy because here we are on social media, all these interactions, all this activity, and yet no one, not no one, but yet so many are still feeling alone. And so that's my video for today. This is my topic. This is what we're going to be covering throughout the week. I hope you'll tune in either because you know someone who might need advice on how to deal with loneliness or maybe you're going through it yourself. Or maybe you've been through it and you want to contribute. Please comment. Please let me know. What are some things that, that I can dive into a little bit more? What are some things that I can break down a little bit more? Now, I'm no expert by any means other than someone who has actually experienced this. And from time to time, I have to fight that off as well. So again, thank you for watching. Thank you for taking the time out to see what this person, this guy right here, has to say. And again, please subscribe, please like, please share this video with anyone you think would be, you know, be able to benefit from it. Leave me a comment. Uh, send me a financial donation if that's something you want to do. And of course, follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.